guys, welcome back to my channel. So glad you could be here today. In today's video, I'm going to enlighten my viewers with my three current favorite authors. Okay, so first let me specify that this list, short as it is, is in no specific order. So just because I mention them first doesn't mean they're necessarily my number one favorite because I kind of love them all the same. So the first author I'm going to talk about is Jodi Pico. This is a copy of her most current novel. It's called Small Great Things. And um, I actually have an autographed copy as you can, um, well, there's an autograph in here somewhere. I've seen it. There's the autograph because I got this at an actual Jodi Pico event when she was on tour for this book and I sat very, very close to her. You may recognize me, Jodi Pico. I asked you a question about 19 minutes and you said it was a good question. So I would recommend Jodi Pico to anybody who loves reading. No, seriously. She writes about things that I would not specifically necessarily be interested in if somebody else wrote it, but because she wrote it, she can make it good. She can make it interesting. She has a way of keeping you on the edge of your seat from the very first page. If you love amazing twists and turns, you will love Jodi Pico. Almost all of her books have very similar things in common. I worded that so eloquently. Number one, most of them have a court case. Number two, you will usually see a lawyer in the book, which makes sense because most of her books include court cases. Number three, you'll also usually see a detective or a police chief or, you know, something similar to that. You'll usually also see just a regular person character who the story is actually happening to, if you know what I mean. So I would definitely recommend Jodi Pico to anybody that can actually sit there and read like hardcore reading material. Like her books are not necessarily for 15 year olds. She is absolutely definitely by far one of my absolute favorite authors of all time. So go pick up a Jodi Pico novel at your local bookstore today. My next favorite author is Sarah Addison Allen. This is a copy of her most recent novel, First Frost. I would recommend Sarah Addison Allen to anybody who likes easy reading. Her novels are the kind of novels that you would sit out on the front porch in a rocking chair drinking sweet tea at the end of the night while reading. If you like magical realism, this is the number one author I would recommend. They're not like 100% full-fledged fantasy. There's no witches and dragons and wizards and, and ha -da 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 spells. This is my wand, if you couldn't tell. She just, she, she sprinkles magic throughout, throughout the pages of her book and it's magical, but not too magical. Enchanting, if you will, but not too enchanting. And also, if you like Food. Sarah Addison Allen is a good person to read because while food is not necessarily the main plot point in her books, it's woven throughout them. Like, for example, when I read this book, First Frost, I always want candy or fig and pepper bread. Read the book to find out more. When I read The Girl That Chased the Moon, I go away from it craving barbecue. They're just really good southern magical relaxing books that I absolutely love like I could devour them I do devour them the third author I'm gonna talk about is Rainbow Rowell Rowell rolling down the river and here's a copy of my favorite Rainbow Rowell book Eleanor and Park this is actually the first Rainbow Rowell book I ever read which was given to me in my Christmas box of books by my husband and I absolutely fell in love with Rainbow Rowell after reading this book. She writes for both teens and adults but I think um, she particularly shines in YA which is what um, Eleanor and Park is also fangirl. Her books are not um, magical like 
Sarah Addison Allens, and they're not political, crime, other really serious topics like Jody Pico's. They have to do with real people and real lives and real events that could happen. For example, in Eleanor and Park, it's about a lonely girl who comes from a bad family and a boy who comes from a good normal family, but neither of them really fit in and they find each other and they form a friendship and things happen and it gets really intense. I don't know, I don't feel like it's your typical YA love story. And I'm not even a teenager, I'm an adult, but I love this book. I love Rainbow Rowell. So I would recommend Rainbow Rowell to anybody who likes more realistic fiction, but still in the end leaves you feeling kind of warm and sappy and syrupy and gooey. Because her books don't necessarily have um, the happy, uplifting, happily ever after that a lot of us like to see in books, but they do leave you with hope for tomorrow for the characters. And isn't that all we can really ask for? So those are my top three current favorite authors that are currently writing books. Don't miss out on my other videos. I'll put little gray blocks with the links to them right here or here or here. Wherever it's going to show up, it'll be one of these places. But anyways, thanks for taking the time to watch this video and tune in for my next one. Bye! And this is a copy of her mo <laughs> I love to read and I... Are you laughing at me?